Hello there, today I have Lego Transformers Prime Smokescreen. Top view, bottom view, pretty clean. Uh, it's a very gappy car, it has to be that way. It's a function robot mode and vehicle mode. No red, which is one of his main colors because there's no road to fit on vehicle mode or robot mode. This car is more in scale with, um, you know, the cars on, like, uh, let's see here, Cliff Jumper and Wheeljack, um, and he's got these two white pieces back here to represent the spoiler on his vehicle mode, and that is pretty much it. You can also see that the vehicle is wobbling. Um, if I actually took the time and effort to put it in the right position, it would not be wobbling back and forth, and all wheels would be touching the ground, but um, I'm not here to do perfection. I'm just here to review the figure, alright? The windshield is also supposed to be four studs wide, but this is how it had to be built in order for it to actually look good. So this is what you get, and it kind of hinders the look of the robot mode, but we'll get into that when we get there. This is how long the car is. Here it is next to minifigures. Here it is, next to the car that is sort of, it's sort of supposed to be. This isn't exactly what the car is supposed to be, but it's, um, it's, it's the same thing mold-wise. Big worthless comparison and side note, this Ironhide figure is the best Ironhide figure I own. There's also no competition, but I'm still saying a lot. Transformation is cool. I got all the wheels in the right place. That's nice. It o it's always nice when you get accuracy. Man, I'm talking to you, Cliff Jumper. Um, you gotta rotate the back down. It's obvi obviously his feet. Rotate the the imaginary spoilers back to become his heels. And then rotate his feet up as you would any Lego Transformer. And his fragile arms come off. But you gotta rotate that piece down. And then, gonna rotate these wheel pieces, wheel pieces, up for clearance. Oh gosh! Okay, here we go. You're gonna rotate on that black piece. Oh jeez! Okay. Rotate. Very. It's very. Um. It's very. Just. Just bear with me. It'll. <sighs> okay. Reattach. Reattach. Go. It rotate. It rotate. And on, okay. On the hinge, it will rotate up. That becomes his stomach. Then you adjust the legs. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. You, you stay in place. Stay in place. Please, I'm begging you. Okay. Maybe those would... The, maybe the... Um, Maybe the spoiler pieces would work better uh, in blue, but, you know, it is what it is. I've already started the review. I'm not going back. Rotate the wheels back down, then rotate the windshields down. Hopefully you don't break. I've, I've never had that happen before. Like I said, rotate the, the windshield down, then it's on a ball joint. Yep, there we go. We adjust it, and the arms go down. And then you get you get this. That's why you're gonna rotate it around. Um, rotate it like that. Rotate the wheel in, then back down, then back. Then you do that to the other side. You can also have these wheels wheels uh, folded down to give them a a cooler look, but that's inaccurate and it's more Bumblebee's thing, or Michael Bay Bumblebee's thing to be exact. And like I said, the wheels are in the right placement on his wings. If you notice it. His wheels appear on um, on his wings. I got that right. And the wheels appear actually like a little higher on his legs too. Another uh, wheel accuracy. Uh, also chest accuracy. Sort of. Kind of. And then I forget to announce we're in robot mode. Because yeah, here we are. It's a pretty bland robot mode. But I think it gets the job done. Obviously the arms are the most inaccurate part. Because of what it has to do. And all that good stuff. 
But uh, yeah, I feel I still think it's a pretty nice figure. For what it has to accomplish, it's very nice. You might notice his uh, his shoulders are mounted a bit far forward. That's just how it has to be, sadly. So articulation. Oh gee, how did it get on that tag? Um, arms are on a ball joint. Is due to the windshield. And that's annoying. If it was actually um the, you know the um, the three stud wide. You know how it splits. This little section wouldn't be here. So really. If the windshield was the scale it's supposed to be, he could do a full elbow bend. But, yeah, he can't, so it's no changing reality. Um, ratchet head problem. Mm, he has a full waist swivel on this ball joint. It's here for nothing. It's just the only piece that works for this. Um, full knee bend. Looks kind of awkward, but whatever. His foot can pivot all the way forward and back. Um, uh, wings are on ball joints, and that's pretty much it for the articulation. Yeah, I mean, overall, I really like this figure, uh, mainly for, like, mainly for, like, the, the upper body, and I'm not counting the arms, but, like, just everything but the limbs, I really like what I did. I really like how I accomplished the wings. It was actually the first bit of the transformation I figured out. And how his spine piece actually like fills out his back. I really like that too. There's not too much kibble too. It's good. I just really like how I got the wheels in the right place. It's so satisfying. And the little thing you can do with the bumblebee wings. So yeah, that's articulation. Uh, no accessories. I would do the the phase shifter wristwatch band thing. It would just look goofy. Would not fit because you know his arms don't have any tabs. And uh, yeah, just just um, I don't know. Do stuff. I don't know. Here is here he is with the the scale stud, and I think he has a pretty good scale. I think he's um the same size as Bumblebee. And it should be a little bit taller, but that's fine by me. And a little bit in the last shot, you saw Walter peeking his little hat into the frame. That was not intentional, but it's. I'm just going to leave it in. Here he is with the big guys, because I I haven't transformed the other guys yet. Just, so let's, let me just do that. So here he is with the four guys, and he's basically the same height as his um, Legion class figure. Just a little bit taller. And as you can see with Cliff Jumper, I think Cliff Jumper is about the same size as Bumblebee. Um, Smokescreen is about a little bit taller. And I forgot to mention this. I also really think this figure looks like Jazz. If you just, you just do that, if you if you just gave him like a black head, black head piece instead of white, he would look a lot like Jazz. Honestly, I in Transformers Prime, I feel like he was supposed to be. Hot Rod because of that one scene, but he also looks like Jazz more than the actual G1 smokescreen design, so it's weird. And here he is next to his model, and it's not the actual Transformers Prime model, because apparently Hasbro ran out of those. So here it is with next to the, um, um, the Prime, is it called Prime Animations model for, like, their Unicron... I don't know, they're making a Transformers Prime movie thing. This is the model. It's the only model I have that's closest to the design. So, here you go.